Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be pressure canning stew beef meat. Um, in 2020, about this time last year, we could not get stew beef at Costco. Meat kind of disappeared from the um, freezers and so we couldn't buy it. So this year I noticed that they've kept it really good and stocked. So I'm going to be pressure canning about um, nine pounds of stew beef meat, raw pack method. It's very easy and I just wanted to share with you how I did it. First of all, I'm going to take nine pint jars and get them washed, cleaned, and sterilized. And I have on my stove a pot of hot water for the lids. So basically I'm using pint jars and I just raw pack, which means I've not cooked the meat. I just stick it into a very hot sterilized jar and I press it down into the jar, packing it um, tightly. I'm not going to add any liquid to this because the liquid comes from the meat juices. And this is a delicious tasting stew beef meat after it's pressure canned. So I'm packing it to a one inch headspace on the jar. Then I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of canning salt. And I'm taking some vinegar, white vinegar, and wiping the rim very well because you don't want any meat pieces or grease or fat on that ring. Then I'm putting on the hot lid and the hot ring. And I've already got my pressure canner set up with three quarts of water and it's hot. So I've got hot jars going into a hot canner. So that's the process for packing the jars. It's pretty easy and I have nine pints in the pressure canner. And I'm going to be processing this um, for 90 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. I actually got 10 pints of stew beef meat from those two packages of stew beef from Costco. So I'm just placing on my pressure canner lid after I've checked all my valves and my ring to make sure everything is in good working order. And I'm going to be um, watching this to um, start um, steaming and at the point where the steam is really coming out of the valve, I'll set my timer for 10 minutes. So as you can see, the steam is, is flowing nicely, so I'm going to pop on my weight and um, then I'm going to bring it up to pressure, which is 10 pounds of pressure, and then I time it once it gets 10 pounds of pressure for 90 minutes. Now, this is about three hours later. I'm taking the um, stew beef meat out of the pressure canner. The pressure had dropped. I'd let it cool, but you can see, see the jars are still bubbling. But I'm carefully taking out all the pint jars and everything sealed and popped. I listened for all the pops, everything sealed. See how easy pressure canning meat is? I have. I just started doing this a couple of years ago and I don't know why I waited so long because it's not hard. You can do this with chicken, with fish, um, any kind of meat. And I'm telling you the stew beef meat is so tender. When you take it out of the jar, it is delicious. So we eat this um, on rice. We love stew beef packed potatoes where I bake potatoes, slit them open and then heat up this meat and pour on top of the baked potato with lots of sour cream and cheese and it is delicious. You can also do steak and cheese hoagies with this meat. But this is a good way to pack your pantry with meat in case it ever gets short again. You'll have plenty of stew beef meat on hand. Now this is the next morning. The jars have completely cooled. They're all sealed. You can see that little ring of fat. Um, and that's perfectly fine and I just take a cloth and I wipe everything down very well before I put these in the pantry and there's plenty of liquid um, they pressure canned perfectly so I'm very excited to have this um, in my pantry this was nine pints and I had an extra pint to put in the freezer and I've got several batches in the freezer I'm going to thaw out and do this way also because this meat is so tender and so delicious so if you have any questions about pressure canning um, meat, please leave them in the comments below. And I hope you um, will stick around because the next time I do the um, beef 
stuffed potatoes, I'll bring you along and show you that recipe because it is so delicious. So thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and give me a like. Thank you so much everyone for watching and have a very blessed day.